next video i will show you how can you calculate the cost and cut whenever you are using open ai models so one way to do is you can just calculate number of tokens using any library like tick token and figure out the number of tokens and then calculate the cost according to the price mentioned in the documentation but the another way to achieve the same thing is using the callback so in this video i am going to talk about callbacks and how we can utilize those to calculate the cost so this is my sample application and here i'm just importing few packages and then i'm reading text file which is holding some information related to homeless people i'm creating a, i'm using text loader then i'm generating indexes out of it and this is the query which i'm framing so why people become homeless let me execute this one and in the next line you can see that i'm using get open ai callback it is an offering from callback is an offering from langchain and is very really useful when you want to hook something between various stages of your llm based application so you can use this feature for logging monitoring or any other similar task let me quickly point you to the documentation so here you can see that uh, this is the documentation from the langchain uh, it talks about uh, where you can use callback how you can use so there is a sample application this is the base implementation of the callback handler and here you can also have a look at the sample code which is written over here so similar idea i'm using and what i'm doing here is i'm running the query inside this callback and then i'm printing the response so let's have a quick look at the response first so be people become homeless due to poverty substance abuse domestic domestic violence and all these are the factors which are coming directly from my text file now let's say if you want to know how many tokens are used so for that what you can do is we can just simply use callback which is nothing but the variable over here and we are saying get me the total tokens get me the completion tokens get me the total total cost and in fact we can also do one more thing here callback dot from tokens if i will execute this cell you will see that overall it is using 503 tokens and the prompt tokens are 479 and the completion is just 24 so 479 plus 24 will come up to 503 so you can use any of these mechanism to calculate the tokens and then you have something called total cost so this is the total cost now if you want to calculate this total cost by your own then you can definitely uh, use this particular technique and get the cost so you can see here both the costs are same now talking about the pricing thing here let me jump on to the documentation and under products you can see pricing so in this particular example i am using davinci so for davinci i can quickly show you so it is using uh, 0 0.02 dollars per thousand tokens and this is the reason i am doing this particular calculation so idea here is to show you that whatever we are calculating calculating and whatever the callback is giving is the same amount now when you are using uh, let's say the newer model which is 4000 context and 16000 context in that case you have different different prices for input as well as output it means you this is your prompt and this is your completion so whenever you are calculating the cost you have to consider two different amounts so for prompt you have to say instead of total tokens you can just say prompt and then you can take the price which is this one and calculate so it will give you how much price you are being charged for this particular prompt and you can see it is something like this it means the remaining amount is for completion and whenever you are working with uh, these models let's say 4k or 16k context it is very good to calculate these and just do a validation step so that you will get to know whether your context is too large or do you want to reduce your completion size so this is the reason why i am emphasizing more on these particular two different prompts so i hope you enjoyed watching this and i would really suggest you to go ahead and make this check on the prompts like how much cost is being incurred for that and it is particularly very useful when you are using huge chunk of data 
so just run it once and get an idea of how is it working and accordingly you can reduce your prompt or the completion size i hope you enjoyed watching this video and thanks for watching